Also, my documents, it's good to check all your directories, well not all of them, but as many your primary ones. Make sure they're cleaned out, don't have random shit laying around that you don't use anymore. I have all my stuff organized, I have documentation, um, downloads, installs, so forth. Everything's documented, I check, it's easier to maintain it that way as well because I know where everything should be located. So I have all my pictures and there are subcategories in there as well. And uh, yeah, just keep an eye on that. Um, also, you want to do the same for your uh, C drive. A lot of times, stuff can just start floating around. Like check your uh, program, your directories within program files. See if there's anything listed that you're not aware of. Also, it's good to uh, check your uh, add or remove programs. Just run through the list really quick and see if there's anything in there that you you don't even need anymore. Or didn't even realize you had to begin with, and run the uninstall for that. But a lot of times, once you run the uninstall, there'll still be a leftover directory. So it's good to delete it out of there anyways to keep uh, <coughs> up to date on that. So right now we have all these programs which I use. So we got that. Um, also, let's see. I got all these partitions which I keep up to date on. Got all this stuff. Um, so yeah, keep it uh, uh, for straggle files and make sure once you delete the files, you empty out the recycle bin as well and keep that up to date. Um, with that aside, another thing, really, really helpful thing to do is check up your startup entries. You can just do that by going to start, run, and type in msconfig. Just type it right. <clears throat> and you want to go to the startup tab, and you'll see all the applications that start up once you log in. Right now, I only have four, and um, this freaking spice sweep, it takes forever to start up, so it takes me a while. But um, the more items you have listed, the longer it's going to take you to start up. These are basically everything that executes once you log into your computer. So if you see anything in here that you're not aware of, Google it, and I'll tell you exactly what it is. If you are aware of what something is, do you ask yourself, do you really need to start up automatically? Like Yahoo, I am, or AIM, for instance. That's notorious for adding itself to a startup entry. Um, it's not needed to start up at all, though. You can have it disabled and start up and still use it. Just launch it whenever you want to use it. Um, <coughs> also, a good thing to do is... Uh, services just hide all Microsoft services what I do and then I uh, organize by status find out what's running and see if there's anything in here that I don't actually need if you see something running and you know what it is and you know you don't need it or you don't know what it is and you've googled it and determined you don't need it um, just I keep this open here and then I'll uh, launch the services which will be services MSC and this will list all the active services on your computer and let's go and bring this up <clears throat> and you can just uh, organize it by startup type. We have all these automatic services which will always start up. And usually, if I find out, figure I don't need them, I set them to manual and just stop them. I also check what's currently started to see if there's anything that shouldn't be started so I know for future reference and I can disable it. So, we got that as well. Aside from that, the only other thing I can recommend is uh, aside from running defrags and so forth, um, another good thing to do is. Uh, Go to your C drive, right click properties, and then go to tools, and run uh, error checks. Um, it's good to do that maybe once every, well, once every two months, three months, and uh, generally it'll take a while depending on the size of your hard drive, but it's definitely a good thing to do. And when you do that, you can also select, uh, have it automatically fixed. Just check both of these and start that. Make sure you're not doing anything when you do that. You can also defragment through here as well if you don't have the utilities to do so. And also running memory, um, run it. Fuck. Run I can't even talk right now. Memory diagnostics, there we go. Fuck. Running memory diagnostics is a good thing to do overnight. Um it takes a long time. Generally I just actually ran one about an hour ago. And uh it can take several hours sometimes, depending on how much RAM you have. So that's a good thing to do overnight, just to check. Um also include a link for a free memory diagnostic by uh, Microsoft for running on your current system. What you'll need to do though is you're going to get an ISO so you can create a CD image and run it on startup. So all that aside, um, you should pretty much have a good grasp on your system. Know where everything is, especially when, if you have everything organized. And ensure your system's constantly running scans to make sure everything is clean. Um, and everyone's scared about this whole uh, April Fool's uh, logic bomb, the, uh, the worm that's coming out. I, and really, I, it's, I know it's more t geared towards corporate industries, but uh, I know a lot of personal users may be affected, assuming it even happens. But honestly, I'm not worried because I keep up to date with my system and I have a sense of self-security with it. I know where every single file on this computer is located down to the last temporary file or the last SQL entry in my Firefox. So um, I guess that alone adds a little self-confidence when you're using your system. So um, 
all that together that you should keep your system running completely fine, running fast, and uh, you should have no worries.